Hello everyone, welcome back to another Man Manga Boy episode. Um, today we're gonna take a quick tour of my room in my To Be Red. You can see here these are manga titles that I just recently unboxed. So Brian's Story, um, Dead of the High School Boys, Art Under the Bridge, Signing Off a Ball, Signing Off a Ball, my dear Kramer, which Blows my mind that's still two different series. Grand Blue Dreaming, Blue 12, Remina, some Astro Boy. Astro Boy's all over the place. You can see it over there too. Um, number four of my dear Kramer. Up top we have Helvetica Standard. It's by the same person who doesn't need to go. And like, this is just stuff I haven't put away. Uh, mostly because they're in a recent haul. Uh, Don't Toy With Me, Nistakataro, Inu Yashiki, Slime, Sweetness and Lightning, Dean Angel. These are on my you should read this soon list. <laughs> so I just haven't got around to them. Uh, my you should read this soon list is always growing. I really want to get oops, more of, I'll give it my all tomorrow. I think it's a hilarious manga. Very relatable. Future Diary went through 10. Never finished in English and also never given the um, translations for the side stories slash spinoffs. Seven Deadly Sins. I took that out of my big pile of reading of You Need to Read This um, because a watcher wanted me to say my thoughts on it um, earlier than later. So I took that off. The spinoff is right up top here, um, which is the Seven Days storyline. Bon and Elaine, which is King's sister, which isn't really a spoiler. They they talk about it pretty much in the second book. You can see here, this is my stand I usually use for when I do the videos where the camera is facing this bookshelf. I use this kind of like a crane setup thing when I do videos of an overhead. You kind of see that there. Those are my headphones. See how they change colors? Very neat, very neat. A few more Astro Boys and also Platinum N. My mom was came over to take a class in here um, the other day. She was admiring my nice Platinum N book. <laughs> she goes, I didn't know they made books like that. And I was like, yep, they don't make many like that. But the ones they do look awesome. Let me move a few things over here. We have Dr. Slump. I've had this for a while. I just wanted to actually read it at some point. That would be Nito. Uh, over here, Act Age, Hunter Hunter, Karugumi, Girl with the Senpaku Eyes, Sweat and Soap, More Slime. Over here, we have a few of my, um, this is coming up soon, Levius. Um, there's also Blood on the Tracks, one and two. Zatch Bell, I think that's a duplicate. Askawada. On this side of things, we have books that are about to head into my room. My room is like, you know, where I read most, where that like uh, manga I'm gonna read next kind of goes to. So we have Konosuba spinoff and Konosuba itself down here. We have a certain scientific accelerator. We have a Doro, <laughs> Dororo and Ikimaru. Tough to see that. Let me actually get down on my knees and beg you all, please, to subscribe, like, and comment. <laughs> so funny. Kino's journey, the Levius hardcover. That's why I've got Levius off to the side. Whoops, some air gear, one through three. I'm planning to reread air gear. So I will at some point. My closet, which is an absolute disaster. Uh, this is just for my boxes from the end of July and August. I'm just a lazy SOB. Please find me in the comments. I know I deserve it. Um, in my closet, we have a huge amount of piles of books. These all go from here into that little crate, which then goes into my room, which is behind that wall. That's my desk. 
it's very clean. <laughs> um, so I also have Rave Master off to the side here. I know it looks like it's tilted because I have the hammer tilted. Um, I'm missing the omnibus for Rave Master, so it's it should be in jail, but it's got so many volumes that I haven't put it in jail. I don't usually turn off the turn on the lights because it's kind of close to the books. I turned it on so you guys could just see what's going on in here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you guys might notice a few of these volumes from hauls from way, way long ago. <laughs> I have to kind of reorganize them anyways, which is why I partially decided to do this video. Um, but before I do that, I just want to show you this side, which is my normal bookshelf that you guys see. Um, this bookshelf is really just for, you guys probably can see my diploma. Hopefully you can't read it. Um, but it's mostly for manga that's, you know, I just got in a haul and I need to either, you know, move it from here into there, but for now it's in here. Um, and just so you can see a few of the series here. <laughs> yeah, it's an absolute train wreck. Here's a closer view of it down here. And most of them are double stacked. This one isn't but it's the only one that's not. Um, I also have a few of these here. Sometimes I kick them around on accident, like not the books, but the actual um, cardboard box. These are all manga that I have um, in the bookshelf or in the um, closet. More often than not, it's the closet. And these are all my um, kingdom. I've got record of Ragnarok, but I probably won't be getting any more of those until the official releases come out. I want to get more record of, I'm not record of Ragnarok, more Kingdom before I um, read those. I just want to get pretty much them all so I can just binge it all in. I know they're not all out yet, but that's the plan. I'm going to go take a few books out so I can show you guys the rest of them. All right, so I moved all the books the way they were blocking it. You can see some of the series here. It's like a lot. <laughs> um, so if you have any questions about these series, you know, feel free to ask me about them. Uh, obviously, these are all ones I haven't read yet. Um, but, you know, I have a ton of them. My backlog is humongous. If I never hit a thousand subs, uh, you know, and get monetized, then, you know, I can always end up on my strange addiction. And, you know, maybe I can make some money off of that. <laughs> I'm um, just kind of kidding around, but um, these boxes are also full of books. So let me go through these real quick. But I mean, like we have some really uh, interesting series here. Uh, funny fact about um, this is like what was all just in the closet, you know. So strange addictions here I come. A funny fact about I am a hero is I actually posted it on Reddit. I was like, Yo, <laughs> right stuff. Tell me they're going out of print. Um, and I, you know, some people are like, Oh, thanks for the heads up. Other people are like. You know, stop feeding into the fear machine. <laughs> I was like, man, this isn't no machine. This is like real life. Uh, so people were all saying that like, you know, we were never gonna see a out of print version of I'm a Hero because it's, it's just too popular, too much of a money maker. Um, but lo and behold, you know, it happened. So don't be afraid to be a voice and say that like you know heads up fam the series is going out of print just pick it up while you can off of amazon and whatnot uh, people will appreciate it you know and for the people who say you know you should have you know seen it coming that it's coming back in print you know you can just say like i just wanted to be cautious or you can say i told you so sob like i knew that ish was going out of print because it went out of print <laughs> Um, still no word on reprint for I'm a Hero, which is a total bummer because there's a lot of people I know who want that series and just thought it was too big to fail um, and just, you know, stay out of print. Uh, but hopefully it comes back so everybody can get what, they, what they're missing for it. It's usually the later series of that series is, the later volumes of that series is tough to find. A few Junji Ito books, Frankenstein. Junji Ito doesn't tend to find its way to the top of my reading pile very quickly. Why? Because they're a bunch of short stories. I don't mind a short story here and again once in a while, but I don't really like to read them all back to back. Kyo, Maki, and Smashed. These boxes mainly contain hardcovers. Um, 
mostly because of how heavy hardcovers are. I don't want to break my particle board shelf. I don't really know what the shelf is made out of. It actually doesn't seem like particle board, um, but it might be. <laughs> so that's kind of the worry. All right, so here we have pretty much all of Flame of Rekka. Um, in here, it's Kagi Asama Love's War, a few Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt volumes, Ping Pong. At the very bottom, there's Clover, that big hardcover. Some Tsubasa. You can see little Ping Pong Tsubasa straight to the bottom. This box is full of Yu Gi Oh! Got my Yu Gi Oh! R in there as well, as the Yu Gi Oh! Omnibuses. I can't wait to get to those. I mean, this is how, how big my TBR is. I can't wait to read Yu-Gi-Oh! But I have to wait to read Yu-Gi-Oh! You guys see this? I have to wait to read something I can't wait to read. Sometimes, you know, the thing you want most is closest by. Hino Matsuri um, and Blam are all in here. These are all the Blam books. This is like up to volume 12 of Hino Matsuri. Maybe 13 if there's 13 out. In here we have a few of the Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls on the Dungeon, as well as some Bungo Stray Dogs. These are mostly the Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls on the Dungeon um, spinoffs. There's a few of the main series in here, um, but most of the spinoffs. Down here, we have some Holic continuation. Uh, pretty much a lot of Clamp stuff, the Blam. Uh, manga based on the movie, Cowboy Bebop volume, and Land of the Lusterious. Uh, Clear Cards, the sequel to Cardcaptor Sakura. Holic Ray, the sequel to Holic. Um, and Tsubasa New World or something like that. I think it's towards the bottom of this pile. Um, the sequel to Tsubasa. Alright, we're getting to the end of these boxes, guys, okay? In here we have Comey Can't Communicate, as well as the remaining spinoffs and um, mainline series of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon. On this side, we have Overlord, some Tenko Tenge, which, I'm gonna be real with you guys, this shouldn't even be here, it should be in the prison downstairs. Tenko Tenge, I'm missing so many volumes on, it's not even funny. Um, but it's my oh great, so you know, I respected the mangaka, so I didn't put him in prison. Uh, but you know, truthfully, they belong in prison because I don't have it nearly complete yet, and I really like to read series and binge them all at once, so that's why it should be in jail. But it's not okay, I know I make really weird exceptions. Oh, that's my light, by the way. I use one ring light, probably should use more. Um, than one because the lighting in my room isn't great. It's pretty good, right? But it's kind of yellowy. So, yeah, whatever. Okay, in these tubs, you've got more manga. I know, right? Uh, these are just the Inuasha omnibuses. Uh, I've got like a separate omnibus pile. That's like kind of what the Loveyest Hardcover is about. Um, omnibuses, I try to read at a slower pace. However, I'm starting to get kind of too many of them. So, I'm just trying to put them with the singles TBR as well. Um, so that wasn't a very good segregation idea. <laughs> Did not last long. We're finally here, the final tub, Legend of Zelda and I Battle Angel Alita, or Alita. Um, we also have Magical Knight Rares in here as well. As you can see, kind of like that. Um, so yeah, that's it for in here. Next, I'm going to take apart the bookshelf one by one. So you guys can see the back row. I mean, oh my god, so many boxes. I gotta put them all back. Whew. Okay guys, while I put all those back, I'm going to end the video here. Stay tuned for part two with the bookshelf and then I'll also show you guys a little bit of my bedroom. My bedroom has even more books. It almost sounds impossible that there's even more books, but there are in fact more books. It's almost depressing for me, but I actually am very happy with it. I feel very grateful. And thankful for all of these books that I have because I know I'll never you know run out of things to read I have literally hundreds of options in terms of what book to read I feel like maybe it's not really hundreds but I, I actually do think it is in any case thank you for watching please like comment subscribe if you like these videos there will be one more of these 
at the next uh, week or whatever I decide to post the next one. However, I am going to still also have a haul next week. So, you know, the collection's always growing. It's always changing. Downstairs, I'm reorganizing my whole manga shelf thing, too. So, like, you know, it's always me doing some work on my collection in some way or another, whether I'm buying more books or if I'm just rearranging my TBR. I might post an updated collection video. I think it's been about six months since my last one. Maybe not? I think, no, you know what? It's, it was May that I posted it, so it's been like two months, two, three months. So I probably won't post one until December, unless there's a high enough demand for it to become, you know, up to see my new uh, arrangement. So if you guys want to see the new arrangement, let me know in the comments below too. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.